And it's placards opposing the war in Afghanistan during a homecoming parade for the 1st Battalion Royal Anglian Regiment today. A group of mainly Muslim protesters took to the streets at Embarking in East London, where the soldiers were marching through. A counter-protest also took place. Police say two people were arrested for public order offences. The march was unaffected by the protest. Right, it's coming to 12 minutes past six. It's great to have you. A mother accused of stealing compensation money from her soldier son after he lost a leg in Afghanistan has died in hospital. Angela Woolard from South End in Essex was accused of stealing £11,000 from Private Matt Woolard from the Royal Anglian Regiment. He received £200,000 in compensation after stepping on a landmine in 2007. Mrs Woolard, who had denied the charges, died from complications after an operation on her leg. A woman badly burnt in a fire at her bedsit is launching a compensation claim for £2 million. 20-year-old Layla Scarley suffered 80% burns after the fire in her single room at Magdalen Street in Norwich in April of last year and was not expected to live. Her former landlord was sentenced earlier this year for breaching health and safety regulations. No date has yet been fixed for the full hearing. A mother of a two-year-old girl from Harlow who's been diagnosed with a rare incurable muscle wasting disease is speaking out to try to raise awareness of the condition. Just one in every 6,000 children have spinal muscular atrophy or SMA which is a genetic condition. Hannah Pettiver has this report. At just two years old, Ray is your average bright intelligent child. How many flowers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But the happy exterior belies the disease that will eventually take its hold. During the time Ray reaches her teens, she will suffer immensely. It affects the hands, the feet, the arms, the legs, the respiratory system, but it never affects the brain. So you see that these kids are bright, intelligent, loving, adorable kids. Ray was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA, more than a year ago. The condition is genetic, affecting around one in every 6,000 children. It progressively eats away at the muscles, leaving bright young children trapped inside a disabled body. But relatively few people have ever heard of it. We see doctors that have never heard of SMA, and I have to explain to them what that condition is before they can treat my daughter. It's the number one genetic killer of babies under the age of two in Britain. Tanya and her friends are hoping to raise awareness by fundraising and also by a new motorised wheelchair for Ray. I think it's really important for Ray to have as good a quality of life as she possibly can and this wheelchair will give her that. Just two years ago, Ray's father was killed, leaving Tanya to cope on her own. She has regular respite care, but the mother-daughter relationship is strong. I cope because of her. She gives me the strength to carry on. She gave me the strength to carry on when her dad was killed. And we just encourage her to do everything. We make sure that she has the most fulfilling life. I think the hardest part is the not knowing, the not knowing of when the disease is really going to take hold. And it could be any time. <laughs> So we make the most of every day. And for now, that's just what Ray's happy with. Hannah Pettifer, Anglia News, Harlow. She is adorable. I'm sure they'll raise the money and we'll let you know when they do. Yeah, we will indeed. Yeah. A man arrested by detectives in Essex after a siege at a flat in Braintree has been charged with five offences. Police were called to Lancaster Way yesterday morning after reports that a man with a sword had barricaded himself inside. Children at a nearby primary school were told to stay indoors until the standoff was brought to an end. 45-year-old Lawrence Baird has been charged with a fray, threats to kill and attempting to cause grievous bodily harm. Preparations have begun for the 5th Latitude Festival in Suffolk. Next month, Henham Park near Southwold will be turned over to tens of thousands of visitors for four days of music, theatre and outdoor living. Kate Prout reports. We're a sold-out Latitude Festival um, and we sold out in record time. The painted sheep are back for probably the prettiest festival setting of the summer, selling out this year in record time. It's absolutely gorgeous and and people want to come back. I mean, that's the real plus about it, is that people 
don't want to visit it once they want to visit it you know time and time again and of course they're able to then enjoy the rest of the area as well set in three and a half thousand acres of parkland there's plenty of room for the 35,000 people expected here and they can even squeeze in the 700 performers and artists and although wellies are very festival chic personally I'm hoping to be wearing flip-flops and a straw hat because of its increasing popularity latitude attracts big names Florence and the Machine, novelist Sebastian Folks, and the Royal Opera House, to name a few. But that's not the only draw. It's a clean and easy festival, so it's easy for people to access. It's not, it's not difficult. There's not loads of mud or anything. And I, I think that flushing toilets and hot showers have a certain appeal. Even more so if our traditional summer weather continues. Kate Prout, Anglia News, Henham in Suffolk.